I can, it's really very simple. Many genetic conditions are caused by the uh, damage and basically the absence of particular genes. In Duchenne muscular dystrophy, it's the dystrophin gene. Um, perhaps one way of treating those conditions, one very simple and obvious way, would be to replace the missing gene with a version which has been created, a functional version that's been created in the laboratory. That is basically the aim of gene therapy. But in the case of Duchenne, we've been involved for maybe 10 years now in developing some of these exon skipping drugs. Um, not X151, not the etiplarsin, which has now been approved, but some of the others that are coming through behind for X153 uh, and 45 and 46. Uh, we have reagents that we've developed that are in clinical trial. And at the same time, we've worked on developing the gene therapy tools, the what are called recombinant dystrophin genes, the lab-based genes that allow us to, uh, uh, to plan ahead for a clinical trial. Those clinical trials, for example, if they began right now, and we are planning to start very soon with those trials, maybe within the next 12 months, but if they began right now, they probably would take two or perhaps three years to complete and get the final results uh, from them. So three years to test a product, and then perhaps another year or two years to get official authorization for the new drug, the new medicine to be used in patients. So in honesty, we're looking two, three, perhaps five years ahead. But hopefully the gene therapies will be tested in patients with Duchenne muscular dystrophy uh, well before that, perhaps within 18 months, I would say. Well, to try and explain it simply, uh, the way the cell works with genes, uh, the gene is actually separated into a number of fragments. You can imagine this like a, a linear jigsaw puzzle. And these fragments have to be joined together to produce the proper gene product. Um, if there is a change in one of the fragments, which affects the way the gene works, which causes, shall we say, Duchenne muscular dystrophy or other genetic diseases, one potential way is to persuade or induce the muscle tissue to ignore the damaged fragment and join together fragments on either side. Um, you know, my dream, I suppose you would call it that, my, what I feel we are all working towards is a situation, like in many diseases, where a combination of three or four medicines uh, will allow Duchenne to become a disease which perhaps isn't cured. Cure is a difficult word in medicine, but what happens mostly in medicine is that conditions are managed to improve um, very, very much the quality of life of patients with, uh, with the illness with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So a combination of drugs available to pediatricians to treat boys with Duchenne muscular dystrophy and uh, produce a very significant improvement in their uh, disease and in their quality of life. That would be fantastic already.